Hey guys, welcome to Pokemon Excavation. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a long time since I sang a cheesy intro for you guys, so there you go. You're very much welcome that I made myself look like a crazy person on camera. So anyways, I did it. I bought three more Aquapolis booster packs. It was so nice. It was the same place um, Articuno112 had bought the ones she sold to me from. So she sent me a link and said that they had more, and I was like, heck yeah. Um, just because the price is so insane. And um, also go check out Polyvision. Um, I don't know if he has a video up at this point or if <clears throat> it'll be up soon, but he bought the last two um, packs they had. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got something in my throat. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that opening will be epic. And he's a good pal of mine. We've been talking a lot the last week or so. So anyways, I'm very happy to have gotten three different artworks here. Just beautiful. Oh yeah. I can't wait to dig into these bad boys. Oh, and the seller also sent me a, a Psyduck promo, Black Star promo, which is pretty sweet since I actually wanted this for a long time. And I just got that as an extra, so that's awesome. Alrighty, so I guess I'll start with... I'll start with the scissor pack. I honestly, I love the Pokemon who are on the Aquapolis packs, but I think, um, I think Skyward just did a way better job on, um, on the, what do you call? Sorry, I'm trying to open this pack at the same time. On the Skyward packs, or on the pack arts. So yeah, I just think that's a lot better. A lot better done. <laughs> but, Still really awesome with the Pokemon on there. Okay, so hopefully this will focus in a sec. Beautiful. We've got a Pinsir, which I actually got an extra from Articuno 122, so that's pretty funny. And an Onyx, which I think I also, she also gave me. We've got a Remoraid, which is really nice. I've complimented this artwork before, and I'll do it again. It's really nice. I love it. And we've got an Apom. Grabbing some fruit with his butt tail, his butt hand. <laughs> I got a manky looking, trying to look badass, but sitting in just the cutest setting, and you're like, oh, and he's like, I'm cool, but he totally wasn't. <laughs> and we got a Cedra, <clears throat> which I pulled last time I bought these packs, but it's just such a great artwork. I'm not complaining at all. Okay, we got a Forest Guardian. I just really like that. Noctowl looks so. Regal, and that dude just looks like the Gandalf of Pokemon, so I can't really complain there. Our reverse is a Tangela. That is nice. I'm not sure that I even have the plain um, common of this card yet. Do I? I might actually, but it just looks really cool. You see, like the mountains up there, some houses and whatnot there, and Tangela just tangled in tree branch. And our rare is. Oh, sick. This is a beautiful card. <laughs> okay, Electro's teeth look friggin' crazy. I like this so much. This is probably how I would draw Electro. I've drawn Electro quite a few times. And yeah, this is pretty much what he looks like. Awesome. Really, really happy with those pulls. That was a good pack. And on to the next. I guess I'll open this Arcanine one. But yeah, um, that, this place is really cheap, um, so I hope we get some good pulls. I definitely don't think they're weighed, just because um, Articuno has gotten some awesome pulls, and also because I think I heard about other people getting really awesome pulls, so that's cool too. Alrighty, so we have this awesome Slowpoke. I really adore that. That's just too cute. I might give this to Jamie. <laughs> and, oh, that is awesome. This is a card I haven't pulled yet, I believe. Sneasel. Very cool. That is really awesome. I just love Sneasel. I think it's a really great Pokemon design. And the artwork is just sick. Kind of looks like the Scyther that um, I pulled in the last time I opened these packs. Oh, I've seen you before, pal. This is a common I've gotten quite a few times. Uh, a lot more than some other commons. <laughs> That I've gotten, so that's pretty funny. And he's just still sweating up a storm. You work out too much at Montop. Take a rest, bro. 
And oh my gosh, I have not pulled this card yet. This is stunning. It's Golduck checking out a lighthouse like a boss. And again, that really cool uh, layering paper type style of card. I enjoy that quite a bit. It spikes my fancy. <laughs> and oh yes, I wanted this drowsy forever. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at him. It was so funny because I was looking at something on eBay the other day and my mom's like, I like the guy with the little trunk. And I was like, who is she talking about? And then I went up the page and I was like, oh, drowsy. Yes, he's very cute. Um, I also really love him in the anime where he's like, drowsy, drowsy. He's just like Dracula. It's so awkward, but really cute. Anyways, moving right along. Traveling salesman. Selling his wares. Whatever that may be. Um, Yellow Pages 2012 was like, you should do a video all in British accent, because like, I don't know why, but when I'm about to do a video, like, my British accent comes out all crazy, but some days I'll like do a British accent all day with my mom, and it's really good, actually, <laughs> but yeah, never when I'm on camera for some reason, I might still do it, okay, anyways, cool card, ooh, my gosh, look at you, <laughs> Alrighty, so we definitely got a good pull here. Oh my gosh, just check this drawing out. Sorry if there's some noise in the background. There's a guy who's like addicted to friggin' building shit. Uh, stuff. I said stuff. <laughs> uh, wow, he just looks like crystal here almost. Like, wow, that card is just nuts. And I love how they do the metal cards. Because they're kind of metallic, actually, looking, if you see on the silver, silvery gray part. It's really nice. Holy crud, that is an awesome card. I just, I can't get enough of that. Okay, you but you guys probably can. Look at it. It's coming so much closer. I'm amazed at how much this camera can focus. Okay, <laughs> anyways, now it's all out of focus. Uh, we got a reverse apricorn for us, which is funny, because I actually pulled this as one of my rares last time I opened packs. Uh, go ahead and check out that video too, it wasn't too long ago. So now I have the rare, a reverse, and normal one, so that's both versions of that card. <laughs> and last but not least, okay, we've got a rare. I'm really happy I pulled that hollow because this pack would have been really cruddy if I had not pulled a hollow. Um, it's really cool now because I pulled a Steelix and a Steel Energy, and or Metal Energy, and uh, the Apricorn Forest, so three rares in a pack, which is awesome. But if I had just pulled uh, a rare and a reverse, I would have been like, I already got that card, and that's just an energy. <laughs> so, very happy with that pack. Dang. I'm going to sleeve that onyx up daily, nightly, and ever so rightly. Okay, so on to our last pack, which is a Tyranitar pack. I love this. I actually, I haven't gotten this artwork before, so I'm very happy to, uh, to be getting it. I actually managed to open all these with uh, almost, well, a little damage down here, but otherwise pretty flawlessly, so I can keep all those pack arts, which is good to me. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Okay, or one, two. What am I doing? Okay, now we're good. <laughs> oh yes, I love this Eevee. There's a really cute Eevee in Sky Ridge or two. I can't remember. Uh, I don't know, I could be mixing them up, but I, I believe it's in Sky Ridge, and it's just cute. Or it's also in Aquabolus. Really like that urban background. It kind of reminds me of what X and Y is going to be, like, with all that ur urban Paris, what do you call, running around business. And, oh, that's a cute oddish. Oh, my gosh. I really love that. It's just so adorable. It looks like a, a children's book or something. I like that a lot. Have not pulled that one either. Haven't pulled either of those. <gasps> and fan P. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. How did you get so cute, bro? And he's like, I got it from my mama. But <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty epic. I haven't gotten that either. Ooh, Goldine. I think I have pulled Goldine, but I am never sick of seeing her little zonked out face. She kind of looks, uh, she looks a little big. She looks a little bit big. <laughs> Um, we got Growlithe. Oh, this is so cool. There are two Growliths too, apparently, because I remember the other one, I was like, oh, it looks like Berenstein Bears. Nobody commented on that, by the way. Does anybody even know who Berenstein Bears are? <laughs> but yeah, this is really cool. It looks like it's some sort of, like, dining hall or something. I don't know. It looks fancy pants. And a Metal Cube TM thingy. 
01. Just cool. It reminds me of the VS cards a lot. So that's pretty neat. It's an uncommon. Oh, you are kidding me. These packs are friggin' awesome. <laughs> that is epic. I managed to pull two hollows in these three packs, which clearly means they're not weighed, because um, I was just excited to even get one, if that. So, dang. And this is definitely a hollow I'm excited to get. Executor. I just love him. He's a palm tree, so it's kind of like, you know, I live in Hawaii and all that jazz. And also, this artwork is so nuts. And it looks like he's hanging out in the safari zone or something. Gosh, that's neat. Super explosion. Yeah. So that's a sexy card. I'm going to sleeve this up right nice as well. I'm going to put this to the side. And, ooh, Goldine Reverse. Pulled a Goldine and a Reverse Goldine in this, uh, this part. And then our last but not least. Ooh, look at you, Quagsire. This is so cool. It looks like, again, the same background as the Eevee, actually. Let's just pull that out for reference. It's got that cool tower business. See, it's the same tower, I'm pretty sure. That is neat. I really like that a lot. Love it. Loving it. Oh my gosh, that artwork is nuts. Okay, well, I have to just say, the E-Series artwork may be some of my favorite. Um, I, again, I'm partial to vending series, partial to VS, partial to gym sets 1 and 2. Um, but the E-Series just They've got to be on that list. I'll make a top 5 or 10 list at some point of my favorite artworks and sets of all time. But, I mean, this this is just really, really showing how awesome the artwork is. So I'm just going to do a quick recap of all the epic niche I managed to pull. Let me just find the stuff here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, the... Oh, excuse me. The rares I managed to pull were, <laughs> just trying to get this all organized, Metal Energy, Quagsire, and Electrode. And then I pulled a rare Apricorn Forest Reverse, which is pretty nice. And the two hollows I pulled were Executor and Steelix. They're just so badass, these guys. And it's just awesome. I pulled, what, <laughs> six hollows, or sorry, six rares in three packs. That's like an average of two hollow, or two rares per pack. That's insane. So another reason why I love the E-Series, I've made this video far too long. People are going to be like, what is up with that? So I'm going to end it now. But thanks for tuning in, guys, and I hope to see you very soon.